Koiso Igumui. Welcome to Wales Country Mouse Walkers. And I'm currently at the Brynlis Miniature Railway, which is actually on the site I'm stopping on for my holiday. So this is Stokerton Station. Um, I'll give you a what three words. Oh, look at these lovely little buildings. A lot of details gone into these. They're great. It's got a little um, sunken, what do you call it? A sunken um, shed, a turntable, signal box. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, the what, what three words are clashes, discouraged, decoded. But I don't think it'll be much help because it's actually on the site, so I don't think you'd be able to follow it. But it's there. So we're going to follow the track. Now, this is something you wouldn't normally do, but the track isn't being used at the moment because um, it's late evening and it's not um, there's nothing running on it and I've got to be very very careful that I don't tread on the track so it's a 600 meter round trip along it you can see the sun shining through it's a beautiful evening about half eight nine o'clock at night And uh, the track crosses over the driveway on the entrance to the site. So as you come in, in and you get to this point, there'll be some little, there's some little flashing lights, red lights that tell you to stop because the train's coming when it's working. So it's actually um, made, built in 1983 called originally called the Penryn Garden Railway and then it was renamed Joys of Life Railway and uh, then it unfortunately fell into disrepair in 2000 and now been fully restored pleased to say by the Joys of Life Railway again and uh, they cover the insurance and everything with membership fees so we'll just this track bit of track here follows next to the driveway and we have this little station here you can see the steps up to the driveway and uh, it's called Moles Hill okay and um, the trains can pass here, people can get off and on here. It's a little signal box and then it carries on and it goes through the tunnel and away following the main road. Oh, I'm not going through the tunnel. It's a little bit dark in there. So the train comes out the tunnel and then carries on with the track this way and it's now running alongside the main road way on the edge of the property um, if you've got a five inch gauge engine and want to bring it you can and you can run it on here by joining the club and those costs go towards the insurance and apparently they'll somebody will come and help you out if you need it and um, also you can book a ride if, the t if the, they are meeting if the club's meeting you can um, book a ride on one of their engines for a small fee so here we are at Highfields and the track splits here and loops back round um, yeah so for a small fee or donation um, they meet most Tuesday afternoons apparently um, I don't know how that's been through Covid and then it passes over these high, high bridges which cross the stream it's 
So it's a beautiful sunny evening, very quiet here. And as I say, this is something you wouldn't normally be able to do because if it was in use or... I feel very lucky I can do this. Back over another high level bit. That stream feeds the lake from the property, which I will show you on another video. towards Mole Hill. So I noticed on the way down to Highfields this little gate. So I thought just to finish we are taking a look down and explored where this one goes. I think it's just a dead end. Little signal thing there. Little engine shed. So just a quick one, show you this little track, so thank you for watching, please subscribe, please like, please leave a comment, sorry I couldn't actually show you an engine, keep well everybody, bye.